guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five easy ways that you can pamp yourself and just enhance your natural beauty. It is already after. I feel so refreshed. The point of doing these things is so that, um, you know those days when you're going to the gym or when you're running out of time, you don't have time to put makeup on, you're going to feel more confident going out without makeup and especially in the summer or when you're taking ki your kids to the school in the morning or you're going to school, it's nice to just feel a little bit more confident. Let's jump right in. My first idea is exfoliating your face. This is something I love to do. I actually just keep a, a very, very fancy bottle of baking soda in my bathroom and I use it on my face, my hair, my teeth, my whole entire body. This stuff is amazing. Anywhere you use it, it's gonna get whatever you're putting it on really, really clean. Um, I especially love to use this on my face though and I like to really um, focus around my nose where I get a lot of blackheads and stuff like that and also um, around my lips and my hairline and it guys it just feels so good your face will feel so so clean and it's great for helping with um, wrinkles and that kind of stuff you should really try it and if you do it your makeup will go on so smooth Okay, now that my face is so clean, I'm going to take some of this moisturizer. I usually use um, avocado oil or coconut oil on my face, but I'm actually going to tan my face right now. So I'm putting um, moisturizer around my nose and my lips and my hairline, and kind of the places that are a little bit more dry. And then I'm using this tanning uh, mousse to tan my face. You guys, this probably sounds crazy because this isn't really meant for your face, but I don't have any face stuff right now, but I like to do this every, I don't know, a week or so because then when I go to the gym or go out and about and I don't have makeup on, my skin tone just looks more even and I don't know, I just feel more confident about it. I have a lot of redness and um, freckles on my face, which I really don't mind. Sometimes I just want my skin tone to look a little bit more evened out. So I'm just, I went on my face and now I'm just going on my neck and down my chest a little bit so it all, so I look nice and tan because usually my arms are tan but it's just my face and my neck. Now I'm brushing my teeth because I'm going to whiten my teeth and this is something I think is really important. If you whiten your teeth, it's going to boost your appearance a ton. So my dentist was doing this promotion where if you come in and get a cleaning they will give you free whitening trays and um, whitening uh, stuff with your appointment so I definitely took them up on that and I loved it so look around and see if there's any promotions like that going on if not I will leave a link down below to one of my favorite whitening kits now I'm just gonna wait five to ten minutes and go ahead and take them out Next is something I've been wanting to try for a really long time and it is lifting my lashes. And I've looked into going and getting this done and even taking classes to figure out how to do it. But then I realized that they sell kits on Amazon for 25 bucks. So I was like, heck yeah. The first step is to cleanse your eyes really well. And so they actually give you a cleanser. So I did that and now I am applying the large eyelash pad to my eyelid. They have different sizes. So you want to wait till um, the glue gets a little bit tacky on your eyelid and then you apply it. And I tried to do both of my eyelashes at the same time but it was so painful and like heavy and weird so I decided that was a bad idea and just stuck to one eye at a time. Okay, now I am putting the pad on my eyelid and now this is actually time to glue your eyelashes to your eyelid can you can you guys believe the things we go through to do these kind of things it's kind of bizarre but now you want to wait for the glue to get a little bit tacky and then you're going to start putting the lashes onto your um lash pad and i actually used my fingers and then i went back through and combed it up with my um little tool they gave me just to make sure everything was nice and separated 
And then this was the final product of getting it all onto my lid. And Talmadge walked in on me and he thought I was so crazy. I was laughing so hard. And now it is actually time to apply the perming product onto your eyelashes. And I was actually really scared this was gonna get in my eyes as I watched other tutorials, but it really doesn't. And it looks like it's getting close, but it actually wasn't close to my eyelids at all. So it actually started falling off my eyelids, but this next part is important. I know you guys, it just gets weirder, but you're gonna put saran, saran wrap onto your eyelid. And this is great because it holds your eyelashes onto the lash pad, but also it keeps the heat in so it can really um, just get nice and warm in there and get the product going. After this, you're going to apply something called a fixator. And I think this kind of alkalizes your, um, your lashes and maybe close the pores a little bit. I'm not really sure. I can't remember from beauty school. And then you're going to let that sit for another eight minutes. So eight minutes with the last perm solution, eight minutes with this one. After this sits for eight minutes, you're going to take it off with some water and then add a nice nourishing oil that they give you in the kit and put it on your eyelashes. And um, this is me moving on to the other eye and looking so fabulous. And then this is the final product. I love how it turned out. Next up is of course eyebrows and I'm adding a clear eyebrow gel to my eyebrows and as you can see from this eyebrow to the other one, this one looks a little bit more full. So brush your teeth, brush your eyebrows, you know, same thing. So after I do this, I'm actually going to pluck my eyebrows and I learned in beauty school that you are supposed to um, put a pencil up to your eyebrow and pluck from the outside of your nose in. But no, you actually want to do from the outside of your nose bone in. This is going to make your face look more slender because your eyebrows will be closer together. And then you go from the corner of your nose through to your pupil, that's where your arch should be. And then the corner of your nose to the corner of your eye, that's where the edge of your eyebrow should be. Okay, you guys, here is the final look. I know that it, it doesn't look that much different, to be honest, but for me, um, knowing that I've taken care of myself and um, just doing these little things, I think it does have an effect on your parents, but also for your self-esteem, I think it just feels better going out, knowing that you have taken care of yourself a little bit. It gives you a little pep in your step. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be my virtual friend and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!